Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a little um, update on the removal of Flash Player. Also answering a few questions because some people got scared with Flash being removed and uh, I don't think there's any cause for concern here. First of all, uh, before we talk, because I talked about how um, Microsoft plans to remove Flash from Edge and Internet Explorer. In this video, I'm going to explain how Apple, Google, and Mozilla Firefox browser will eliminate Flash themselves on their browsers and uh, systems. But first, a few things. So, um, a lot of people said, well, it's impossible, we can't have a web without Flash, uh, too many things run on Flash. Uh, here's the thing, if you own an iPhone, okay, first of all, look at how many websites you really can't go. There isn't that many. And a lot of people said, well, you know, there's tons of games that are Flash. It, uh, that's going to be removed. And um, yeah, there are some websites that do rely on Flash for a lot of little games and stuff like that. But I think the most important websites, the ones that are very, very popular among, you know, casual gamers will adapt their different games so that it's going to run using um, you know HTML5 and uh, WebGL which can do the same job as Flash and you know we really don't need Flash anymore. As for video somebody said well you know it's gonna break YouTube. No YouTube um, <laughs> you know if you're watching this video on a modern browser Chrome um, you know Edge or Firefox you're actually not streaming in Flash you're actually watching YouTube on HTML5 it has its own, um, you know, it's already by default using something else and it's been doing that for a while. It still has flash possibility, but it is slowly being phased out. And um, I think that the, the time frame, because a lot of people said, oh, well, the web will be broken in 2020. I think that, you know, that's three years from now. There's going to be sufficient time for any major website to move on to something else. And those that don't are probably websites that anyways are not worth continuing to use and to view past that date. So what is going to happen with Mac, for example? So on the Mac side, of course, you know, every browser, every company has said what they are going to do on their own, um, you know, way to kill Flash. So is Apple going to strip Flash from Safari? And the short answer is almost, you know, it's almost gone from Safari anyways on Macs. You know, already we see that um, the devices like iPads and iPhones do not have Flash. And frankly, if you've used an iPad or an iPhone to surf the web, there really isn't that many websites anymore that don't work at all. So, um, as for OS 10, because that's where Flash is, um, in OS 10, Flash has been an unwelcome guest, but it's actually there. At some point, it was bundled with the operating system. Then Apple stopped bundling the Flash in 2010, required users to go and fetch a plugin themselves if they really wanted. So that already was the you know beginning of the end for Mac, basically. And uh, now in 2012, Apple was the first to start stripping out update versions of Flash. It was telling you, you, you got to update it and things like that. In 2016, web pages needed to be clicked and um, to activate the Flash player on Safari on Mac. Also, um, Apple and more accurately, the open source web kit, the project that pushes code to Safari, as they'll to say when Adobe announces uh, the 2020 retirement of Flash. So, of course, what it says, it's working on what uh, it deems to be the most important. But, you know, on Mac and on, on pretty much everything Apple, Flash is being phased out and has been, you know, pushed out uh, for a while now. So uh, there's a good chance you're probably not even using it and you still do whatever you want. But of course, there's a small percentage of websites you might be using that actually require it. It's not totally clear, but you know, it's sure that Apple will, of course, you know, want to remove that as fast as possible. 
As for Mozilla Firefox, what's the plan? So, on August 8, next week, Mozilla will release Firefox 55. We'll have a new version of Firefox. It will be the start of the end game process for Erasing Flash. So, but rather than be told what sites can use Flash, Firefox users will get to choose the websites it wants Flash to be allowed automatically. So you'll have the choice to tell Firefox, okay, just you know, activate Flash on this, this, this website, and that's it, um, basically. Then, basically, um, in 2018, in the second half of 2018, where we think Firefox 61 through Firefox 64 will be released, the browser will no longer remember the Flash settings. You'll have to activate the plugin in each session of the browser when you want to go to websites. In early 2019, Firefox will begin to display a warning on sites that still use Flash that, you know, you should maybe think of, you know, doing something because Flash is going to be removed at some point. It will disable Flash by default and you'll have to go into settings to activate Flash, which is a little more complex. By early 2020, the Flash plugin will be scrubbed from Firefox, but the Firefox extended support release on more static builds aimed at Enterprise will support Flash until the end of the year. But when Adobe, Adobe adds Flash security updates at the end of 2020, Firefox, no matter what version, will refuse to load the plugin and not work anymore. And finally, Google Chrome. How is it going to affect them? Google Chrome uh, already has Flash off by default since last year. It has limited uh, use to 10 websites, Amazon, Facebook, YouTube, and others, and then only after user approval. According to the Flash roadmap um, posted on the Chromium website, which is the core, open source core, that feeds code to Chrome itself. Around July 2018, and with the debut of what will be Chrome 66, sites that continue to use Flash will require explicit user OK to show that content. That user approval must be given at each browser restart. After a year, in July of 2019, with Chrome 76, Flash will be disabled by default even for sites like YouTube and Facebook However, users will be able to switch on Flash in the settings. And around the month of December 2020, with what is supposed to be Chrome 87, Google will remove all Flash capabilities in the browser, ending a 12-year symbiotic relationship with Adobe's app. So basically, that's how it's going to happen with all the different major browsers uh, and uh, systems for the end of Flash. And... Uh, I am not one of those that thinks it's doomsday and that so many things will be broken. Um, I don't think so. Websites will adapt. If you want to have traffic, you'll have to adapt. And HTML5 plus WebGL are so much better and so much cleaner and, you know, just faster than Flash in general. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.